What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy, Kevin Forte, and we are taking a look today. Yes, it is time for our 2022 Stanley Cup Final previews and predictions. In the Eastern Conference, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning looking to three-peat. They are four wins away from winning their third straight Stanley Cup. They are the modern-day dynasty in the salary cap era. On the other side, the Colorado Avalanche coming out of the Western Conference, seemingly the weaker conference. They've had, a, you could argue, a pretty easy path. They've only played, um, was it, what's 8 plus 6? 14 games in the Stanley Cup playoffs this year. They've had two sweeps, one series that took six games against the St. Louis Blues. So the Avalanche are looking pretty good as well. Um, it's going to be kind of an interesting series. This is something that, you know, I, the casual fan could have easily put this as their predictions for the Stanley Cup Final, and um, nobody really would have argued. I mean, there's no real shocking Cinderella story this year. It's Colorado has been the beast in the West, and, you know, as much as people could have thought Tampa could have got taken out in the first round against Toronto, you kind of had a sense. Who would, I said this. I said this in that series prediction. Who would win that Toronto-Tampa series? Would probably go to the East. Would probably win the Eastern Conference. I was kind of right, and that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Um, so this is going to be a kind of interesting series because when I look at both these teams, super loaded rosters. I mean, top to bottom, super talented. I mean, Tampa's third line defense has Mikhail Sergachev on it. I mean, <laughs> that's a little bit threatening, right? Meanwhile, for the Avalanche, they've had some injury issues. You know, Tampa's had some injuries. It sounds like Braden Point could be back as soon as potentially game one or two of the Stanley Cup Final. It's not confirmed, but maybe by the time the series starts, it will be. It's been questionable if Braden Point will be back. Uh, Victor Hedman looked a little banged up in game six. Uh, actually was taken out for concussion protocol. So we don't know the status with Victor Hedman there. Meanwhile, for the Avalanche, they're without Samuel Girard, a big top four defenseman. Jack Johnson is now taking that spot in the second pair, which is a little bit concerning, if I'm going to be honest. Um, so now you've got both Johnsons on that blue line, Eric Johnson and Jack Johnson, just to confuse some of your, your Avalanche and, you know, really not even Avalanche fans, just fans in general, seeing two Johnsons out there. That sounded a little weird, not going to lie. Uh, but they're also Darcy Kemper, their starting goalie. He did not play a lot of that third round series in the Western Conference Final. It was a lot of Pavel Francouz. So is Kemper going to be back and healthy? It sounds like he will be ready for game one of the cup final. But again, he might have to pull off a little rust in the beginning of this series. Um, as well as Nazem Kadri. He is out. Um, again, he is similar to Braden Point in terms of if you pluck both those guys out of the lineup, they're kind of similar with where they're at. They're not the first line center, but they're really important pieces to the team still. Um, you could argue Braden Point's the best player on the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, some may not agree with me on that, but I think it's kind of hard to argue over the past couple seasons, especially with what a beast he was last year in the playoffs. I think he had like three straight series. He scored a point every single game, like absolute monster. Um, so hopefully he's back for the comp for the cup final. Kadri's still questionable. I think they're really trying to push it with Kadri. He's obviously not going to be 100%. Same thing for Braden Point. So the real difference between these teams is, is Kemper going to be healthy 100% against Vasi? And that's very scary. We've seen how good Vasilevsky has been. Um, and Sammy Gerard being out. You know, there is no comparable for Tampa losing a defenseman like that. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Now, looking at the head-to-head, -head, um, forward-wise, I have to give the edge to the Avalanche. The fact Alexander Newhook and you know, Val Natushkin are not on the first line, that's a really talented Avalanche team, top to bottom. Not saying that Tampa's not good in that category, but... Their bottom six has been questionable throughout the playoffs. Um, definitely not at the end of the series against the Rangers. Uh, but there was times where Tampa looked a little bit vulnerable in terms of their bottom six. 
Um, and it could get exposed against the Avalanche. Defense-wise, it's pretty even. But again, with Sammy Gerard out, I have to lean more toward Tampa there. So in terms of Avalanche winning for forwards, Tampa probably wins for defense. And then this is kind of the deal breaker, and I think most of you will agree with me. If I had to choose between a somewhat day-to-day -day healthy goaltender, Darcy Kemper, or Andre Vasilevsky, you know I'm going with Vasi here. You can't bet against Andre Vasilevsky here. I, I just can't. Until proven otherwise, I can't go against Vasilevsky. And for the Tampa Bay Lightning, I, I, I have to go goalie-wise. It's Tampa. And I think that is really the separation between these two teams. Um, Tampa's going to have the same kind of issue here, kind of like they did in the conference finals against the Rangers. The Avalanche are really good on the power play. Do not give them power plays. As the Nashville Predators, who got swept by them in the first round, don't give the Avalanche power plays. It, it doesn't go well. It's not pretty. So Tampa learned... They were disciplined in the conference finals after those first two games. They learned their lesson against the Rangers, stopped taking so many penalties, and they were able to win games five on five. Colorado is going to be difficult, again, because of their depth, but I do think Tampa five on five, avoiding penalties and power plays and four on four, the edge goes to Tampa. All that experience, and of course, I, the, if it's so close, but Vasilevsky... Vasilevsky is the difference and like I said until proven otherwise I'd be a fool not to pick the Tampa Bay Lightning to three-peat and win their 12th straight Stanley Cup playoff series guys I'm going with the Tampa Bay Lightning winning this series in seven games in Colorado um, Tampa's just too good I, I really think that when you look at these two teams they're very even um, but I don't think Colorado's faced enough adversity. You know, for all the series, they've been up. They've been up in all their series. They've never really faced that adversity. Tampa did face some adversity. You know, they were down 3-2 in that first round series against Toronto and had to gut out two wins at home and on the road in Game 7 in Toronto. A very, um, you know, a Toronto team that was desperate for that win in Game 7. They were able to grind that win out. They completely blew off the doors of the President's Trophy winning Florida Panthers. They swept them in the first, in the second round, took all their spirit out. They were down 2 nothing, 2 nothing in Game 3 against the New York Rangers and ended up winning the series, winning four straight games to win that series in six. The Avalanche haven't done that. And, and this is not a discredit to the Avalanche. They're a good hockey team, right? They were able to take care of business. But I think the Avalanche fans that in the comments are going to say, you keep proving us saying that it's going to be a series and, you know, you keep betting us to win these series in six or seven games. You keep winning them in four or five. You're looking at Tampa. Tampa is the outlier here. And unfortunately for the Avalanche, this is the team you don't want to play against. They've got the goaltending. They can match up with you defensively and they may not have the edge forward-wise, but they're still really damn good. And if Nazem Kadri's not there for the Avalanche, that is a concern for me as well. Like I said, I'm going with the Tampa Bay Lightning, three-peating, winning the Stanley Cup. But the Avalanche, I'm giving them a shot. It's going to come down to a Game 7 in Denver, Colorado. I'm giving the Avalanche the respect they deserve because of how good they've been this playoffs. But guys, you have to look at it from my perspective. How can you bet against the Tampa Bay Lightning who have won 11 straight playoff series? I can't. Depending on what happens, if Hedman's not healthy, if somehow Vasilevsky gets hurt, God forbid, or something like that, I'm going with Tampa winning this series in seven games. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Who do you have winning the Stanley Cup here in 2022? It's going to be a really good series either way. I expect it to be really nasty and gnarly and aggressive but I do have the Tampa Bay Lightning with the grit they have the power forwards Nick Paul Pat Maroon Ross Colton their depth will prevail against the Colorado Avalanche and to be completely honest 
I'm looking at this series sort of back in the 80s when you saw the the Edmonton, you know, the Islanders dynasty, right? They win four straight Stanley Cups and that fourth cup, they had to beat the Edmonton Oilers. And the Oilers learned in that Stanley Cup final how to win watching the Islanders and admiring their fourth Stanley Cup win. I'm calling it now. Colorado has to hurt bad this year. And maybe they lose in five or six games this year. And this is what sets them up for Stanley Cup playoff success next year. And I have Colorado maybe winning the Cup next year. And taking over Tampa, they have to go through the pain one more time this year. And I think next year, I do think it's the year for the Colorado Avalanche. So with that said, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again next time.